along the popular U Street corridor. Officers shut down the 1200 block overnight to investigate, but it is now back open at this hour. They found a man there shot several times around 245 this morning. We're told he is currently stable in the hospital and police say the suspects were seen running from the area. They were described as uh, wearing a black hoodie. Another was in a white t-shirt and the third was armed with a handgun. If you have any information about this shooting, call DC. What's up, y'all? It's Ann Glizzy, and it's Bob Sun TV, and this the rise and fall of Bust a Move. If y'all don't know who Bust a Move is, Bust a Move is a government informant that got a guy 20 years in jail, and he met Ann Glizzy and tried to restart his life as a club promoter and act like it didn't happen because he told in 2013. If y'all don't know the club owner name, it's Kenneth Mooney from Martini's nightclub. Everybody stay out of Martini's. They say it's red and festive. Now let's get into it. So this is how I met Buster Move. I never knew Buster Move a day in my life. I have seen him on Lemon Live. I used to go live with Lemon Tunchi back in the day. And I used to see Lemon on live, but I used to always see Lemon get put on the fly at Martini's, fly at Martini's, and I just seen the guy from the owner of Martini's, they was just saying the comments, the owner of Martini's on the live talking to Lemon. They had like 12 people over there live. So that's how I seen his face and knew who he was. I didn't really know who he was at all. I ain't know nothing about him. So maybe like a year go around, a year or two go past after that. Me and Davey been getting into it on the internet back and forth. Y'all know Davey is Davey Ruffin, the comedian. So we was getting into it going back and forth. Set, yeah. man. I'm you in the, Is you pulling up? Bruh. Is you pulling up? You know, your security. Bruh, bruh. No, is you pulling up? Pull is up. you pulling up? Man, you the live want to know if you pulling up. Hold Are you coming? Hold on, say what you got to say. Are you coming outside? Man, is we going to set up the fight on that? Are you coming outside right, right now? You ain't come outside. 8,000 people. Why are you looking scared? I'm coming outside. You Where you want me to ready? Where you at, Jay? Tell them. You want me to start walking? You want me to start walking? Are you trying to set it up on that? Are you trying to set it up on that? Are you trying to set it up on that? You not coming? Are you trying to set it up on that? I thought you was coming. My bad. I thought you. Are you gonna set it up on that? I thought you was putting. Ask him if he's trying. What you? Are you trying to fight? Are you trying to fight? Are you fight? Do you want to fight? No, no, Mr. Do you want to fight? Now one person in that car. Do you want to fight? They scared of me. I got them niggas. Do you? I never seen your step up scared to show their face. Your step up scared to show their face. You talking about Davey? You Davey boy? You you gay? You know who I am, man. Hey, I used to press you out of school, nigga. I used to beat your up on GQ. Curry, you Curry. I used to press you out of school, nigga. You nigga. I used to nigga. I used to spit on your nigga. You nigga. Pull up. You know where I'm at. What pull up. You know I pull up. Truck. I used to press your ass out of school, nigga. Not, your name you Curry. You a bro, I used to bro, press bro. your ass out. Bro, pull up. Funny, nigga, pull bro. up. Bro, I see you. Hey, you bluff. I used to press your ass out. That nigga went to my school. I used to bully that nigga. That nigga's a His name Curry. I used to bully him. That nigga's a I used to press that nigga the out. That nigga's a On GQ Grave, I used to smack it. Anybody went to school with me and Curry, if anybody went to school with us and know him, I used to smack it. That nigga's a It's 11,000 people. They in a car talking to me. Pull the up. Tell them niggas come outside, Curry. Since I know you, I know you's a I know you's a whore. I used to smack your in school on GQ grave, nigga. Anybody from the quarters went to school with us. I used to smack that nigga. That nigga's a Niggas a whore. Your shooter is a. That's your shooter. Better return. Better return it. I used to slap it in school on GQ. So after we get into it, going back and forth, Cray came up with an idea. Y'all know who Cray is. Cray is the guy that I was getting into it in the argument out back of Barber House. But that's my real friend. <laughs> Your 
Just on the internet, y'all think something. So, Cray is mutual with me and Davey. So, Cray feel like instead of Anna and Davey bidding off each other on Instagram, they might as well go ahead and fight it out in the ring and make some money. And we got Davey versus Ant. Me and Davey agreed to a boxing match on May 27th. Tickets in the link in my bio on Instagram. They on eventbike.com. Everybody that want to take $100 tickets on sale right now. Link in my bio. I'm trying to get 100K subscribers to everybody. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel. I don't want to tell y'all what I'm going to do today because, like, if you don't know, I wanted to be a surprise. It ain't even going to be funny. I'm thinking we're going to go two rounds. I'm going to get it over in two. One round for the money, second round for the people. I got to get them out of there. You feel what I'm saying? First round, I'm going to get y'all money worth. Second round, I'm going to get them out of there. I don't think he's going to last. And I'm just frustrated. I'm, man, I got to keep it YouTubeable. Me and Davey is getting the ring, so it's been going back and forth. Davey, I don't know where this came from, y'all. He lost his buzz. This is what happened, I'm going to tell y'all. He don't have no girlfriends. He have nothing. He lost everything. The car, the house, everything. He in the basement right now of his grandma's house with a, like a uh, wallpaper, a fake brick wall wallpaper. He only show this much now. You only see this much, just that brick wall wallpaper. He set his camera up so close you can't see no corners. He in the basement by the dry and the... Sh and the uh, I'm gonna show y'all the picture. He bought a dryer and he got like, he only got curtain, shower curtain. Like, he only got a house. He, don't, he homeless, man. He just homeless, man. He don't drive. He don't, he don't got nothing going on. Forget it. He don't got no money. He ain't got nothing going on. He, I don't know what he got. I don't know what. First of all, he's in a fairy tale land. He don't wanna talk about what his, what Toya told his mother about that deal. Man, about that. Uh, and his, uh, you know what I'm saying? He don't wanna talk about that. He don't got no home to take his, bro. That man is a lie. He don't have a, home to take his kids to a roof, put a roof over his head or a car to pick them up in. Patrick, just stop lying, but it's like, it's cool. Now it's on. I don't got to really do too much to go talking and go back and forth, man. Fly out and all that. Y'all about to see it? It's time to go up. Let's get it on. I'm about to go training. I'm going to start training on Monday. I ain't really tripping on training. I'm doing training so I can breathe. I just, all I ain't tripping on punches. Forget the punch part. I just need my air. I smoke too much weed. I just need my air. As long as I got my air, he cannot do nothing with me, bro. Like, nothing in no way, shape, or form. Get y'all bets, man. We're going to put this on FanDuel. Undercard at the bottom. They taking bets, too. That's FanDuel. FanDuel. Uh, what it say? Aunt Lizzie, I'm minus 130. Davey plus 119 at the bottom. That's FanDuel already, y'all. What you talking about? Y'all can real life. I'm going to put y'all back in. It's all the way at the bottom. Aunt minus 130. Davey, they, I'm going to... I'm not the underdog. Davey the underdog. But Davey, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can go ahead and put y'all back in. <laughs> fan duel. <laughs> it's up, up. You tripping. <laughs> this sh <laughs> sh bigger than Nino right there. You <laughs> fan duel. You hear me? They got me looking sweet. Put your bets in. <laughs> Bets be open on the on the day of the fight. Y'all can put y'all bets in. They gonna let y'all bet on FanDuel. On Fan, this should be on FanDuel the day of the fight. But we was never gonna fight. It was never really a fight. He just promoted it as y'all should fight in the ring. Cray really called me like, bro, you fake getting into it with Davey, bro. We can just fake through a fight. You ain't even gotta come for real. Just all you gotta do is say you gonna be there, something, something, and we gonna go out. We gonna sell tickets, bro. We gonna make us some bands off that jump. I thought about it like, hmm, that's a great idea. The city one be all on Aunt Glizzy. Let's give him a bid. Let's make him the bid. Let's pull it off. So we we trying to invent scam of the year now. Whole time I go hit my man to get some tickets made. Now I got some tickets made. It's no fight, no nothing. I just got tickets. Craig called me, we put the idea together. Me, Craig, my little brother. And I say, man, I know somebody make tickets. I got somebody make tickets. I got them the tickets. Now they got the tickets. We all going to break the ticket money down. We just gonna pick a date for the fight. We picked a date, so the date was on the ticket. So whatever the date is, come we are gonna sell tickets all the way to the date, and we just gonna break the money down. And it ain't gonna be no fight. We don't care. We ain't even care. But in the midst of us doing that, we had to promo the fight. We had to promo it on live. Like we got tickets. We fighting. We this that. We doing that. Davey saying, "Yeah, man, get y'all tickets. We doing this. We doing that." I seen a comment come to the comments. It was bust a move. 
This is my first time ever having an encounter with him. He like, oh yeah, y'all gonna fight? How much you want to put it together to let me own the fight? I said, give me 20, I said, give me 20 bands. Give me 20 bands, give me 10 up front. You can own the rights to everything. He said, bet, I'm gonna get you that 20K. He was just there to sound sweet. But the pressure from the comments, the comments like, oh yeah, bust the move. The club promoter, he got the 20K, man. And it's about to happen. Don't be scared. And now it's ain't going back out. So now with the pressure of the comments trolling, saying, I'm going back out. I'm not going to do it. He's not going to take the money. Bust the move is doubling up. Like, I got the 20. I'm going to give it to you. Because I know he's not going to take it. He's not going to do this. So I'm not really going to give him 20,000. I'm going to look sweet. Get all this free promo. And he's not even going to come. I ain't going to have to pay him nothing. I'm going to be good. I took the 10K deposit. I don't know how Buster Move got the money. I don't know how he put it together. He gave me $5,000 up front. Told me he's gonna give me 10. Cash out me the other money. Never cashed out to me. Took some days. I got on the internet and I went off about him being 5,000 short. Then when I went off about him on the internet and then the comments pressured him again, peer pressure. The comments pressured him. Like, oh, you ain't sending him all the money. You acting like you getting all this money. You ain't sending him all the money. I'm saying if you get all this money, just send me my. Boom, the 5K came. If y'all know what Buster Move is, Buster Move is a promoter in a DMV that owned the club Martinis. And he's sponsoring this me and Davey boxing match that got the city on fire right now. So me and Buster Move came to an agreement to make the fight happen. He had to give me $10,000 in cash. He gave me $5,000, not ten. So I just put some fire under him. I'm just talking. Like, man, I ain't get my other five. I ain't get this. I ain't get that. Or you ain't do this. You ain't do that. You ain't keep your part of business. Niggas looking skinny. Just to get my other five. That's it. I just wanted my other five out of him. That's all. You said 10,000 is 10,000. But the world think, he trying to back out the fight. He trying to go and bust these. I don't think nothing wrong with Buster Money. Buster a good move. A good man. Buster ain't never did nothing wrong to me. Buster did all good business. This is just how I work. When it comes to money, I want all my money. I don't want nobody to owe me. No family member. No, no, nobody. No relative, no friend, no promoter, nobody. I don't want to owe nobody. I don't want nobody to owe me nothing. Things can happen in between old and people, and I've been through that before. It's not nothing against you, just the things that I've been through in my life that I want mine all up front. Just the way I move, that's it. That's all I want y'all to understand. So me going back and forth with Buster, y'all, this is promotion for this fight, y'all. That's all it is. I'm texting Buster on the back end on this phone like, Buster, you better not feed him nothing I'm saying. This is just Instagram. Buster Move is a good guy to me. Everything I ever... Did business with or seen through Buster in this little bit of time that we met, he ain't did nothing foul or wrong to me, bro. He look out for me. I actually feel comfortable in Martinis because Buster did. Like, no funny. It's Buster establishment. I actually feel comfortable in it. You feel me? So, shout out to Buster. I'm going to take his little 2000. I'm going to beat Davey Ruffin up and I hope he got my back in. All the rest of this is just publicity, y'all. Stop crying so much. But I really had him gut, though, y'all. I am a multi manipulator. It's like I need an Oscar for this. I had him so good, I figured out his whole personality. I read people's personality. Bust the move, got this type of personality. If you do something against his ego to make him look littler than what he really is in real life, he going to prove he not. So basically, this is what I'm saying. By me getting on Instagram, I text him five times, can I get my 5,000, come up 5,000, and move slow. But when them comments like, man, you ain't giving him this other 5,000, you acting skinny, this had the pressure from that bust the move, ain't trying to deal with that. He played with money, he ain't tripping, that ain't about none of him. He sent it so fast. And it was all that. I don't got no problems. I told Bust the move. My security will beat him up. I don't know if he believed me or not, but y'all could have got on the undercard. Tell Davey he know what it is. He go to live right here, y'all. Wake up and watch you give a f about what you going on. I don't give a f about none of that shit. You wake up, watch me give a f about what I got going on. You paying my f bill. I got more than you because you watch me. <laughs> no. Say it. Why is a nigga owed him? It shouldn't owe me no money. That's all I'm saying. Nigga shouldn't owe me no money. I don't give a fuck about none of these niggas. No Davey, no none of these niggas. Bro, y'all keep talking to me. If I just say what I say, then that's all it is. If I say I want 10000 to fight, I get 10000 to fight. All that other shit, I ain't trying to hear that shit. I don't give a fuck about it. What part y'all don't understand? If a nigga owe me 10000 on the back end, had that 10000 I don't give a fuck about nothing else. All that other shit, I don't care. That's going to be the shit that made me go on, y'all. I don't give a fuck about the dog. I don't give a fuck about what you did. I don't give a fuck about who died. If I say 10000 it's 10000 If I say twenty, it's 20000 All that other shit is that. I don't give a fuck about that. I don't give a fuck.
about it. I'm sorry that I don't have a heart. No, I don't. Okay. All I'm saying. I ain't got nothing else to say. Hey, right. nigga, you are terrible, Slim. You acted a fucking donkey it's, on like really. And it's good promotion. It's, it's, it's like we yeah, got we got it lit today. They talking hey, about yeah, it again. Hey, we yeah, back in the loop. One thing I'm never gonna be. I'm never skinny, nigga. Hey, yeah, this don't insult me though. I, I ain't no skinny was, shit at all. It's reverse psychology, to be honest. Reverse psychology, like, listen, my nigga. If I get on live and call Buster skinny, as shit, I'm gonna get paid. I said that to myself. I wrote it in my notes. Before I even got on this live, I wrote in my notes. I said, watch, I get on live. The comments going to talk him in the pan. Me watch this. And I swear to God, I got the money. You so predictable. Hey, God, you terrible, yeah. All I have to do is call you skinny three times. And you, I ain't skinny. They ain't about to put my name up, didn't you? I know. 5,000 spent that fast. That's all. It was that easy. I told you. Reverse psychology. I'm the best I ever did. I'm a professional. You see how calm I am now. Hey, I, 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 I hope they be f you up, man. I really I do, man. I hope that's they the aggressive. You up. I already see that you're against me. You better against me anyway. So it's like. I don't really care. I ain't got to show y'all no love. I'm going to knock his ass out, and then I'm going to walk out the ring and be like, yeah, I told you something. Terrible, yeah. It's cool, though. I told you. I'm the best that ever did this, though. I'm like a, I'm like a mind manipulator. I got your mind all over the place. You probably think, he about to back out the fight. He about to. No, I'm just trying to get my little five a little faster. <laughs> hey, yo, you hey, yo, something is really I'm just trying to go to gym tomorrow. That's it. Yeah. I'm just trying to go to turn in and take. That's hey, it. Yo, listen, homie. I'm old. You can't do that to me, nigga. I almost had, I almost had a fucking nip shit. Like, nigga, I'm riding around. I got the... I'm I know. You calling everybody. Who that, man? You, I know. I know. Now, was a, That's how I feel. You calling me. You Put a little pepper under your step. Put a little pepper in your step. That's it? <laughs> I said I'm going to go ahead and throw one of these fake Oscar Award winning timber tangents, and I'm going to get my 5K, and I did it. It worked. I'm quiet. I don't even beep it no more. I'm really like, I'm cool. I'm good. <laughs> you over there sweating. You had a... You had a hey, bro, I was sitting right here calculating. Like, all right. Look though, then I don't add you. Let it let it marinate for a minute. You like, man, this nigga on some weird on that anglizzy again. But whole time I'm not. I'm just trying to get my little five a little faster. That's all. It worked though. Yeah, it really it worked. It worked. Yeah, something is really wrong with you. Man. I'm up in here. My mother bipolar schizophrenic. It just like trickled off with me a little bit, but I know how to use it a little bit better. I use it on the place I not cut it all too, and I turned that switch up my and it's off. Like I'm good now. I'm smoking my J. I'm chilling, bro. Who the Man, up 5,000. I'm up 5,000 right now. 5,000, boy. You think I'm beefing with you? I am not, bro. We are brothers. <laughs> I'm here to tell you. I'm a businessman, though. I'm like the I'm like the Jeff Bezos of the pressure on it. Now you think like, oh, shit. it ain't about to be no fight, man. This nigga tripping like shit in the up five. A little bit of pimp, a little fire. But the part shit, man. that we talked earlier, I said, hey, I'm out of Naples. I said, hey, I'm going to get you. The I was going to bring you the five in cash. You know, you know what hurt me to my heart when you told me? Man, we had to get Davey something on the front end. Okay, you did pay for it. Now you gonna have to pay for that. <laughs> and when Davey hear about this ten, this five, extra five I just got up front. Imagine what he about to say. Imagine, imagine his phone calls. He about to call you in twenty minutes. I promise. He probably in the gym sweaty as right now. He looking at his phone. When he looking at his phone and see I got an extra five up front, he gonna go bonkers. But it wasn't extra five up front. He was always supposed to get ten thousand up front. So it's not extra five. Like I say, David never knew what the. Fuck because I gave you your front, I was trying to give you all your front money, but I gave David his front money. So, I'm, and I'm not gonna mention what David's front money is. I don't David even want to know money. what David's front money was. I don't care. Exactly. And David don't care. David just trying to make this thing happen. But everyone that bought tickets, the fight is going on. It's going May the 27th, right. man. May the 27th. Like I say, your man bust a move, doing what he do best, getting it done. This mother pulled a schizophrenic little frail mother. Sorry, and I had a world thinking that we are, bro. And personally, I'm peaceful, I'm humble. It don't be on nothing, do I? I know it's an image, bro. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know why y'all get caught up in this, bro. I can go right here and yell at you a hundred times uh, and get off the phone and be like, yeah, bust move. What happened? I'm retarded. I do this for a living. If you stay on Instagram, you will be good. It ain't going to be nothing but the comments trying to make it something that it ain't. What the I'm beefing with you or something. What the you beefing about? We arguing. It's no argument. All I said is, a five thousand light. I just want the uh the, the lightness to fill up. That's it. I don't care how I fill up. I ain't blaming nobody on nothing. The extra five thousand came. I'm cool. I had a five thousand dollar temper tantrum today. I'm feeling good. I'm about to get a hug and all that. Uh, I had to dab up because I told her before I walked in. I say, watch. I'm gonna get that other five thousand today. Watch this. Yeah, you terrible, yeah. Like I might you be the best of ever. Though. Like really, 
But you want to know what's the kicker, though? Imagine if I walk in that ring on the 27th and I'm shopping. I just beat Davey by like, oh, uh, and like that shit. Ridiculously beat him. Like, what? You like, had 2,000 on it. So if you beat Davey, I'm down another 2,000. Fink, fuck, fuck. And I'm going to keep telling you, y'all think about punches and all that, but it's about my heart, bro. My heart too big for that. I get, you see how angry I get, bro? I don't even care about Davey punches, bro. Nigga shoot me in my leg. I still try to run to the stop sign. I don't care, bro. Yeah. It's all right. I said, I thank you for your five thousand, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't, listen to me. I don't need you sit here with this thousand people. I'm the cloud lord. Let me talk. I'm the cloud lord. <laughs> Let me pop my to the promoter too. I'm big homie though. Like I'm without me, what y'all got going on? Let me pop my without me. Without, hey, yo. Oh, why? Right. Oh, why? Right. Hey, you real bad. The other five can So now I got the ten k deposit. I get the other ten k at the fight once I get to the fight. So we do like a way in. We do they say they gonna be like that. Nah, but, but, but what I'm energy. telling you is, yeah, he no, don't he... like him. He don't like him, and I know this, but the world don't know. This. So whole time, and they are two emotions for one, both of them. So now this I'm like, happen, we need that energy though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Davey, Davey, Davey doesn't have, have a ride to the way in. Davey don't have a oh, way in. So <laughs> ain't trying to go broke like, like Davey. Davey. So promotion, <laughs> promoters try to clear it up for him, like he coming later. He doing this. We ain't gonna do it together. Davey just ain't here, so they're trying to make up an excuse, but I'm not making up any I'm not making up any excuses. I don't like the sounds of it. I'm not making up any excuses, but I'm telling you where it's at. I came to the way in and I can't even know how much my opponent hey, weighs. Yeah, you're gonna know once you see the video drop. You're gonna know. Now that I got weird rocket edits on what's going on behind the screen. Hey, first of all, I'm a son TV. First of all, I'm a son TV. My team trying to see the fighter. We trying to see what we fighting. We wanna oh see it before God, we ain't before fighting. Fight. We trying to see him. We trying to see what's going on. Make it make sense to me. What's going on? All hey, y'all, listen, man. We was trying to do Ant way in first, do Davey way in first, put it all together. May the 27th is going down, man. May the 27th is going down, man. I don't like the way what's going on, y'all. I'm, I'm at the way in. No day. Is, this, is he going to do this at the fight? Man, he just God. needs just to get his promo back jumping, man. Yeah. I swear to God, my mother, that's what he did, but nobody else did but me. He just straight want to get booked. He jumping out IED auto cars with boxing gloves. Hey, hold on, man. Let me, man. I'm telling you, man. Niggas using me for promo. If y'all would have told me, if y'all would have told me Davey wasn't here, I wouldn't have came. I wouldn't have came. Come on, no, That's crazy. Huh? What? My dog. No, we locked in. Back up, hurry up, hurry up. It's a Nissan. Don't let him see you. It's a red Nissan. Hold on, hold on. Let me talk to him. Let me talk to him again. Davey is in a red Nissan van. He's just running from his mother. Y'all gotta be quiet. Hold on, you gotta sneak. Hurry up, get it. Yeah, I'll see you. See? This man's having a truck. Why, man? You gotta make sure you want nobody. You want both seats. I already knew what y'all was on. Nah, I'm trying to make sure. Then we got the boy at Sosa on. I just left the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I really just left this one. Y'all told me 5 o'clock. I got my mother make my uh holy fields on right now. Oh, yeah, I got the holy fields. With the crocodile. I'm telling you. The sneaky croc. I'm and I got the interview. I'm about to interview today. Right, we on. I got the and the sport. To the sport. I got these shit in sport on the back. Where y'all going? Oh, that might out. It feels good. Huh? Baby, finally not grown men out. Bro, this is bro. not that time, bro. You, bro. It's not that you snuck him. I got the heart of a You snuck lion. him, guaranteed. You snuck him. You jumped hard when you hit him too. You took the Superman That's punch. Me. You want better another thousand? You'll knock me out. What you want better? What you better now? I knock you out or I drop you. <laughs> I knock you now. I drop you. Or I knock you out. We get better stack. I, I know I'ma drop you for sure. Oh, yeah. He tell you, dog. Oh, that's cool. Come here. You two, come here. Come here. <laughs> that's for sure. I gotta read that. Got, how that mother I want blues? I mean, no twenty. Since you got, it, I want blues. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. I, I, I.
I done sparred too many times. I'm all right. That emotion. My life is a sparring match. Yeah, it ain't gonna be that. I already know how you coming. Ooh, Ooh, this shit, this shit, this shit, start doing one of these. This shit ain't easy. Time. This shit a walk in the park, y'all. Oh yeah. Oh, first of all, y'all, we fighting with 16s, 14s, 12s, or 10s. 16s. We doing 16s. Cool. We doing 16s. 16s. No funny. Six they was trying to put us in 12s. I ain't going for that. Like I, I'm trying to. Not like, no funny. Come on, I, right here. I want to be 12s. I I want at least 14s. No, no. I want 16s. I want. So you want the sponge? I want the sponge. Even though I'm trying to. We get rumble. I want the rumble. I'm not trying to go to the. I'm not. None of that. Y'all tell me what y'all want. I know what you mean. Sign right here, ain't. I ain't gonna say. I'm gonna split. I say you got to split out. Ain't got the nigga right here about to stitch you up. Who? Oh, hey, what you want? White or dark? Sixteen. Hey, what do you want? White or dark? So I'm trying to figure out. We going down. Yeah, I like that. We what are we talking about? Now you feel more. What's the difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, this is white. Yeah, yeah. It's like the spawn jump, niggas. When them jumps, it sound like it's heavy. Ooh, 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 ooh. I like black. All that little shit. I like white. Hey, y'all. Look at this. Hey, y'all. 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 Hey, y'
drink my margarita. He better the That's the problem. He training for the Olympics. That's the problem. He need to be training. He training. When, you, when you got a fight coming up and you doing that, he turned into Rocky. He Ryan Garcia now. He got paid. You know, Garcia, man, shit, they gave me a nigga can slap me around the room. Nobody want to. His body is one of my thighs and just half of my body. I can't wait to be the scale. My mother, you want 32. <laughs> nah, look, dog. They got the same size. Nah, I went to my jail. mother, he like a. No, nah, nah, he's smaller than me, bro. I went to jail for like seven days. I did like. I think it was a kid's like 130. But I had the Amazon scale it out. That goes in 140 something. Oh, this is for the fight. Y'all fucking up the money. Y'all fucking up the money. Broken Jay, hold on. I like that. Oh. I like that. I might kill him. Put your in my hand. We do a way in, I go to the way in, bust the mood there. I go to the mat the boxing match. Now it's the day of the boxing match. So we get to the boxing match. And as we at the boxing match, bust the move owe me ten thousand dollars to back end. So before I walk to the ring, I step to bust the move car. I go to bust the move car. He like, huh? I'm about to give you the rest of the bread. He give me a thousand dollars. He said, count this. I counted out a thousand. He started busting open envelopes out of his pocket, going to his glove compartment, get like three hundred dollars glove compartment. He had some money in his sock, like eight hundred in his sock. He trying to get the ten thousand so bad. He opening envelopes, but I can't even read. I thought that John said Victor, but y'all know that John said Vendor. Now that I think about it, it said Vendor. He giving me the vendor money, so I realized he ain't make no money. He in a negative. He jumped in some said he got twenty thousand dollars. He didn't even have twenty thousand dollars, so now he twenty thousand dollars in the hole. Thinking he about to just be famous. Like, he just about to be the next big club promoter. He got Aunt Lizzie and Dave Ruffin in the fight. His live's doing a thousand now. He promoting the fight. So now, before we get to the fight, now let me transfer y'all back a little bit. Yeah, we was at the fight. But in the process of us getting to the fight, I the bust the move, paid the deposit. We doing a rack of promo. Like, we going to Martinis to do a weigh-in. We on Instagram live. Y'all know how the promotion for a fight is. We promoting the fight. Bust the Move live doing a thousand. He and all the conversations. Everybody in the city talking about he loving this. This is the biggest moment of his life. But I told y'all he really got demons and dark stuff that he trying to hide. Bust the Move have put somebody to jail, sent somebody to jail for 20 years. And this guy have sent the paperwork out here. And bust the movement trying to run from it, start a new life as a club promoter. You know how you hot in 2013, people reappear in 2023. That's 10 years ago. This is a new generation. They feel like they ain't hot no more, but he blew his spot up too bad. He got on the biggest platform in the East Coast and tried to act like he was top dog, top investigator. Talk to the top dog. That's what you is. You're the top dog, all right? You balked a lot in that room. You told them everything they needed to know. You're not a businessman. You told too much of the business, man. I'm just here to tell you. So before I get back to that, so now we had to fight. We pro Mooney. He trying to get his new life started. He bust the move, this, that. He really Kenneth Mooney. Kenneth Mooney is a government witness. Hot. Just got a dude 20 years. He reinvented his whole new name. He ain't Kenneth Mooney no more. He came back as bust the move 10. Now he bust the move. So now bust the move. We don't even know about Kenny. And we bust the move. Oh, so we ain't searching into him. But you know, inside man ain't going to let nothing go over the same. So now his lives doing a thousand. It's all connected to Aunt Glizzy. Aunt Glizzy got Davey Page going up. Go look at Davey numbers now. They all the way down. Go look at Buster Move numbers now. They embarrassing. After this video, Buster Move is canceled. His middle, his middle name is Renee, and we done with him. So the fight come. We did all the promo. His live doing a thousand. Everybody talking about him. He had to fight. So now we had to fight. He dapping everybody up. He feeling good. He put this event together. He see the whole city outside and he put it together. So he feeling it's like adrenaline rush. Like I'm on the top of a roller coaster. He loving it. It's a high that he never can get over. <laughs>
I was done. My body won't give me no way. See, I use every bit of energy I had, bro. I had no way. I tried. I tried. <laughs> and I tried so hard to get away from me. Hurry. Oh my God. Fat could be like. I tried. I was trying to get up. At this moment, you realize that you fucked up. Oh my God. And it is. My mind is telling me no. Do it look like I just was in the boxing match? <laughs> Y'all ain't never seen a jug, man. I'm telling you, man. Sometimes, man, you just gotta. If you ain't, if you don't know what a jug is, man, I can show you, man. I can show you what a jug is. Man. If you don't know what a jug, then you don't know what love is. Unless you gonna pull up a vine, uh uh, and you don't know what love is. <laughs> Niggas don't know what a jug is. Hey, Slim, I just real lie robbed the bank. Like, I feel like a bank robber. Like, should I? I feel like I just robbed the bank. I feel like a bank robber, man. I feel like the tail. So, stick up. <laughs> it's so stick up. Hey, man, I'm telling you. Tell baby, it's a stick up. <laughs> it's like one of the ball player niggas. <laughs> I can't make this up. I can't make this shit up. You ever come with the door? Bank robber. I said I get away from misery, but until then, I don't mind here. It say you ain't getting no twenty k, bro. It's ten thousand, and I got ten thousand up front, twenty thousand. I been got ten thousand, the other ten thousand before I even move. So I, ten and ten is twenty thousand, but not to you. Today's a good day. Hey, what you got to do already? No, if, if I ain't spit up ten times, it'd be cool. Like I could my sh my sh spitting up and all this weird. Sh can't say I told you. Yeah, can't say it. I told you something. I'm geeking. We fine. Yeah. I said, but drink some water and run on the treadmill. You don't want all this. You <laughs> been the week? Me? Yeah. We give me bit of the week. Bit of the week and bit of the week and Dizzy runs out of gas. Bit of the week. I think the tank hit E. <laughs> Bit of the week. Bit of the week. Bit of the week. Bit of the week. I think he lost his legs. <laughs> I could be bit of the week. I take it. I'll be busy. Hey, I'll be busy. Say that for a little tip now. Mm -hmm.
Today's a good day. Yes, it is. They say, nah, just get off live. Get off live for what? I be on live every day. Nothing in my life changed. Nothing. I pushed the nigga four times. He pushed me four times. I spent him around. He spent me around. We was doing like, we was dancing. Like real live. Like. And then I said, like, bro, my legs give out. I can't dance no more. I'm sorry. Yeah, bubble. Yeah. It just was up. If I could have kept going, y'all, I would have kept going, though, y'all. I couldn't. My fucking legs wouldn't move. Like, if it can move, I would have moved them. I wasn't scared. I would have moved the legs. Ooh. After the fight. Do y'all know I stayed there an hour after the fight? Like, the fight was over. I was the last one left. I was still in the ring. Like, trying to get my legs to work. My legs wouldn't work. I couldn't get up and walk. I couldn't even walk out the ring. I spit up in the ring. Ring ten times. I spit up ten times. I swear to God. I left ten earls that like I'm probably gonna be on camera spitting up ten times. I spit up ten times in the ring. Like spit up like I couldn't move. You 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 must and y'all must ain't hit that peaking like that. My leg wouldn't walk. It wouldn't move. I couldn't move. I was like leg I was like kill Bill in that movie. Y'all seen Kill Bill? I was like wiggle your toes. I was like, you will now wiggle your toes. My toes will not wiggle. Whoever this is got you looking crazy. Too much smoking. Whoever that is, you got the phone right on top of your recording. Whoever that is. I eat your I left this house to collect 10 G's. And I came back. 10 G's. Nothing else? Nice. Can we talk about the ring, eh? No. We ain't gonna do that. We're gonna leave that part alone. I'm gonna take the blame. We not blaming, but first of all, I got paid. Anything at the venue, the ring, anything. Hold on, let me give him a little bit of money. Let's, let's, I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of a fight. Let me show y'all a little bit. Turn here. Here y'all go. I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of a fight. Drop. Start it from the beginning. Let me see it. Let me see it. Up. Start it up. I told y'all I couldn't last that long. Could move, y'all ran out of air. I was tired. <laughs> Man, I couldn't last no more. I got I couldn't breathe. And what I was about to say, bruh, the ring was made out of boxing crates. I was doing the crate challenge. I swear to God, y'all, the ring was off that bruh. Like, I ain't even talking. I ain't gonna make no excuses. I take the blame. I'm gonna take the blame for the ring. I'm gonna take the blame for the referee. I'm gonna take the blame for everything. I take the blame. Blame everything on me. Buster, Buster Moo did good. Buster Moo did great. That ring was crazy. Like, I don't get what y'all saying. First of all, the ring was crazy. Like, the ring, bruh, first of all, I, the ring, all right, listen to me. If I could fall in the ring, I'd go, bro. If I'd have fell in that ring, I'm telling everybody to die. The ring would have killed. I swear to God, I was fighting Davy. I clipped up over like a crate. Like, I swear to God, the ring was the craziest ring ever. But I'm going to take the blame. Blame me. We're not going to blame nobody else. Anything that went bad, I take the blame for everything there. I swear to God, y'all can blame everything on me. Anything that got blamed there, blame me. Don't blame Buster. Buster did good. I swear to God. Buster did better than he supposed to do, y'all. Buster did good. We got to get Buster around the pause. Buster put together a safe, good event. I swear to God, y'all. Buster, we got to get him. The ring was crazy. 
on my mother. That ring was crazy. Like when I seen the ring, I ain't care about the fight. I swear to God, I didn't care about the fight. When I seen the ring, I said, Oh nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna go to get them people they little money worth. No, I was gonna get y'all one round, but my body like you could get him too. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get him too. I'm I'm gonna go out here and die for the fans. I get y'all too, and I literally died after that. I swear to God, I say, all right. One round, my body like, no, nah, you can't do no more. I said one more for the people. I gave the people one more. My body, my legs. I wanted to get out the corner. My legs wouldn't walk out the corner. The f I wanted to throw a punch. My mouth wouldn't throw a punch. The f I'm sorry. He thought this was his new life, like lit events, like everything he do going to sell out. He didn't know that was all Ann Glizzy name. The crowd was there for Ann Glizzy. The vendors there. Everybody was there for something connected to Ann Glizzy. Even if they wanted to see me win or lose, it was not for nobody else. If David Ruffin fight anybody else, nobody would have been there. If Buster Moo, if the Cat Burglar, or if Donald, if Ronald McDonald would have promoted this fight, Ronald McDonald would have, you feel like you. Like, it didn't matter who it was. It was me. But y'all didn't know that. Y'all knows it now. So boom, Buster Moo end up only getting the six thousand. We back to the car now. We in the car. He, he told you he owed me ten. He going through the envelopes. He in the vendor envelopes. Now he petting his pockets. He ran out of money. He like, man, I owe you four thousand. But it's like, bro, Buster Moo on Martinis and all that. I'm thinking like four thousand ain't nothing. I go to Martinis and sell drinks and then myself to I make my four thousand. I'm good. And I just got sixteen out of him. He can owe me. I know that club make a thousand a week. I put him on a payment plan. I ain't really tripping. I get it. Whole time. He ain't even paid Davey yet. He gave Davey 2500 up front and still owe Davey 7500 It depends on what the sales is of the fight, but Buster Moon made no money from the fight negative, so he owed Davey. Like, Davey at the fight didn't get no back end. Buster Moon was going to wait till he counted all the money up from the fight and get Davey his money out of that, but Buster Moon didn't tell Davey, I don't have no money, I didn't make no money because it's going to make Buster Moon look like he didn't bust the move. You feel what I'm saying? So, now... The fight went on. Buster Moo owed me money. Fight over. Fight happened. I went in there through the most punches that I can throw to my body gave up, and I laid down and quit. The whole world running around here saying I got knocked out. This how I noticed the DMV is against me. We all watch this same fight, and there's people in this world telling me that Davey beat me up. If it came to punches, I won the fight. You can go ask a boxing expert that don't know Aunt Lizzie or Davey and say, who won this fight if they wouldn't have quit? If he wouldn't have laid down right here and said he quit, who won this fight as far as punching? So don't ever tell me I got beat up. That doesn't make sense. Just because you don't like Aunt Lizzie, that don't mean you don't got to tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? So, now, the fight over. So Davey feeling like I lay down, he gonna go home, crop his Instagram up and make it look like he knocked me out and he gonna run off a celebration. He the guy that beat Aunt Glizzy up, so he about to blow up and just be super duper famous. Buster Move is feeling like he threw the biggest event in the world. He gonna be super duper famous. So they go home for like two, three days. Everybody like, yeah, bust a good event. They feeling it. And everybody like, Davey, comments going off. Yeah, Davey, you did this, you did that. But these are all my haters that's doing this, y'all. These not no real fans. Like the real people that don't be biased, they know Davey ain't win that fight. The real people that know them don't be biased, no bust a move or groupie. Like, you feel what I'm saying? If you don't like Ang Lizzy, bust a move ain't a groupie. He giving you law. If you don't like Ang Lizzy, Davey beating up. That's what y'all designed to say. I can see a hater from just by you typing. You don't even know you letting your hate out. Tell the truth. Tell what you see and not what you think. Y'all have to know what you think. You think Davey beat me? You don't even think Davey beat me up. You watching the video, seeing him lose a fight, and still tell me I lost. That is mental health problems just because you don't like Ang Lizzy. So... Both of them go a couple days, and now I got to say cheese interview already planned but after the fight anyway, because I'm already Aunt Glizzy. I got my own stuff going on. So say cheese, we locked in. We got a schedule. We do our say cheese interviews or eight a certain amount of time. So my say cheese interview end up coming out. But in the midst of my say cheese interview coming up, the day after the fight, no, the day after the fight, DJ Academics did a reaction on the fight. But he did a reaction because it's me. He been doing reactions on me that whole week. David Ruffin thought he did a reaction on a guy who beat Aunt Glizzy up. So David Ruffin still just running with my accolades. It's my accolades. Everything is because of me, Davey, running with it, putting itself in it like it's because of him. So like maybe a week went past and they feel the buzz dying like, dang, Aunt Glizzy lost a fight, but he clowning in our face with $20,000. Aunt Glizzy ain't lose his buzz. He went to say cheese. His stiff still going up. His number stayed worse than ours. And Dad's going down. So now Davey laying like, he got to start the beef back up. He got to start the beef back up. He want to feel the rush again. So now Davey 
on a rocket at this at that. You passed out. You sweet. You sweet. You, you sweet. Show me 5K. Show me 5K. Yeah, count it out. You was the sweetest. I ain't gonna lie to you. Your little respect is gone, my boy. It's gone. You keep thinking you sound sweet. Don't go in there and try going your girl purse neither. You lost on her birthday. I would dump your dirty. I would dump. Don't go in there and get your money. You've been had in there now. You would. Your girl should have dumped your. You lost on her birthday. You lost on your girl birthday. You anything. You a sweet nigga. Passing out. You in the ring all passed out. You a, you all passed out. Sweet. I'm oh, last week, girl, girl said, you better win. You was trying to 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 win, and you did not win, my brother. It's okay. I know you hurt. I will be hurt, too. Now you gangster. Now you gangster. Now you gangster. Now you, gangster. you didn't beat me up. I let you burn yourself out. I let you burn yourself out, and look what happened. Look what happened. Look what happened, my brother. My brother. Just wake up. Just wake up, young Anthony. If I didn't run out Anthony, of Anthony, just wake up. You, out. you need to wake up, brother. You, you need to wake up. And look what happened. You did the punching, and then what happened? You did the punching, and then you passed out. You did the punching, and then you passed out. You was the sweetest. You did the punching, and then you passed out. You did the punching, and then you passed out. It's a boxing match. It's not a street fight. You passed uh, out. It's okay. It's, it's okay, right. brother. It's okay, it, brother. Bro, I, I appreciate no the free money. What you mean running back with, running with back no glove? You didn't want to run. You didn't run it back the first time. No Work out. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Anthony. Anthony. Did you? Anthony, did you pass out? You passed out, my brother. You passed out. You passed out, my brother. You passed out. You passed out. You talking gangster? You are not a gangster, Anthony. You are a YouTube blogger now. You are say cheese, little brother, Anthony Cheese. Anthony Cheese. Anthony Cheese. Anthony Cheese. Just chill, baby. Take a breather. Wake up first. Get your up off the floor. You counting blues. You was counting blues, but you was counting lambs earlier. You was counting lambs. You was counting lambs. I made you throw up. 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 I made you earn. Use a sweetie. Use the sweetest nigga I ever fought in DC. Use a sweetie. Anthony. Anthony. Sweetie. 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 And guess what? You was the sweetest. You the I beat the out Bruh, you boy wake up. Wake, you up. wake up wake up wake up me and Buster you fail and you pass out he worked you bro. wake up i got in the car wake I up Buster, he told me let davy win hello hello i know you only got hello you, you can't get you up play on you. and you, you on your man you was going to knock me out look at you on gq you got knocked out and didn't get up you didn't get up. You couldn't even walk. 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 You drunk. You broke. You drunk. You in there stressing. This shit ain't get no money. He stopped now because he realized he's nothing. Like he went away, so we can get off Davy right now. Let's go back to Buster. So Buster realized. I'm 20K in the hole. I didn't make my money back. I ain't got nothing else to do. And Glizzy ain't got to be my friend no more. I can't text him. We ain't cool no more to fight over. There's no more buzz. There's nothing. Like, I don't got to text Buster no more. Do not deal with Buster. I got the 20K, the friendship with Buster or whatever it was. I don't even know friendship. I just know him for 20K from being a promoter. It's over. There's no more texting. And Glizzy, now he thought we would be friends for life. Now he make up a story about 
And Glizzy be scared of Davey for real, man. I think and Glizzy is just throwing shots for me to say something about him because he know if I say something about him, it's going to make him bigger than what he really is. That's the only reason he say something about me. He's trying to get clout on me. He's chasing clout now because he's so much in a hole with money and his life's so hard right now. He needs finances, and he see that I make finances. He want to be like Ann Glizzy now. He's got this Russia being around me and seeing me, and I got 20000 on him, and everything I do just make money, and he's just popping. He want to be in one of that rush of a 1,000 people in your life and stuff like that, comments, people talking about you, that he get into an argument with me just to start it back up. He loves that rush. Bust the move. Nah, what we gonna call it? Let me think of something. Hold on, y'all. What's up, y'all? Today, don't edit this out, Nevi, y'all. What's up, y'all? This is Ang Glizzy, this is on TV, and this is the businessman is in all the businessman. The real life of Busta Move. So, for y'all don't know who Busta Move, Busta Move is this guy. No one knew him three months ago. He's nobody. He a guy who's sitting in the club office who went bankrupt to get in contact with Ang Glizzy, basically. So basically one day, one day this guy named Buster popped up in, me, in my comments after me and Craig playing the David Ruffin fight, we was going back and forth. He wanted to be a part of Clout. Boom, he had 300 followers. He booked me for the fight. He said he would give me $20,000 for the fight. He went to scramble up $10,000. Took him forever to scramble up $10,000. He gave me $5,000. I cursed him out about the $5,000. He had to go with the other $5,000 because the pressure was on him. He sent it to me. Contract was unlegit. He spent so much on the fight, y'all, he couldn't afford a ring. He couldn't even afford security. He had to put his family in Martini shirt and call them security. He didn't have no money. He didn't have no budget. He couldn't even pay me the whole $20,000. I got in his car. He was sweating like a... But you know when you got the bull with the red joint? Like he was running from the bull with the red joint. He was sweaty as a, sweaty as a bull. Told my man, I owe you four thousand. I bring it to your house. So he had to bring me four more thousand. He ain't have enough for a ring. He ain't had nothing. He still a negative. He took out a PPP loan to pay me. He took out a insurance loan on the club. This all public records. Martini is filing bankrupt. Like they said, the club ain't even him. But I ain't even gonna get in further detail. Buster is a clown, y'all. If y'all want to know who Buster Move is, Buster Move is a clown. He's trying to start his podcast, get everything lit. Bro, you 45 years old trying to start a podcast with no fame. With no, like, you the guy from Aunt Glizzy Comments, bro. How famous are you? Yes, you are. You keep talking about, man, Buster Move. Everybody know Buster Move. Well, we know you in the world from coming from Aunt Glizzy Comments, bro. I swear to God, we know you from our comments. You paid the guy. Like, bro, just get it. Like, you paid for it, bro. If you want promotion, you paid for the most promotion in the city. Nobody care about Martinis. You got the worstest club ever. Then you keep running around here hopping and everything. And then Dave, you hopping it. Then and then Q, you hopping it. You don't got nothing to do with this. Since you want to jump and Q the food business, let's get into your business. So I go look up his charges. This man filing bankrupt. He just beat a girl up. He got a restraining order. She got a restraining order out on him. He got a trial for it. Next month, he just broke her nose. His baby mother slash wife working John across the street from Martinez. How you a businessman? How you get Aunt Lizzie 20000 and your girl working John? Bust the move. I ain't going to do too much off you. I'm going to just go into the videos because you know you a goof. Martinis need to change their name to margaritas, man, because y'all need to go to Margaritaville, because ain't nobody going to Martinis, bruh. You ain't never booked nobody. You ain't got no budget to book nobody. You went broke booking Aunt Glizzy. Hey, bro, my brother, Saeed Evans, I've been grabbed by the FBI more times hey, than Watch your mouth, nigga. What you talking to, nigga? You can't talk to on my page. Nigga, hold on. No, no. To let you know it's me, and it's not you, because you be feeling like it's you. Nigga, you my little brother, nigga. Nigga, okay. yeah, ain't glitzy the little brother that you love to hate. That's what he is. Ain't glitzy the little brother. Get on your now, fucking nerves. Now let me know. Nerve. I need the people to go watch Buster interview y'all. Buster just did a podcast, John. He interviewed Rico. You think you think Rico know you who? He met him in jail. They met an intake. Hey, yeah, they it met an intake. When the f come on the podcast, yeah? You think click too, nigga? I was trying to get it, bro. I was trying to. I'm trying you to gotta fucking track call, nigga. Drive your fast car down here, nigga. You got a track shop. Huh? It's in the shop. It's in the shop getting done up. You getting the rap, nigga. I got a video. I'm about to come out. I'm about to drag to my next video. What? I got your them all ups and overs, now. Bust the move. Hey, Glizzy. I got your end to your career in my phone. You don't want to start no war, man. Hey, hey, I want. Hey, y'all, listen. I want all the smoke, nigga. I you want don't. all the smoke. You I want all the smoke. Hey, y'all, listen. Y'all get ready. Hey, y'all, listen. When, when I get Aunt Glizzy on the podcast, though, I'm going to do the calling. You know what I'm saying? So y'all going to be able to call in as Aunt Glizzy. Anything y'all want. Hey, bro, you had that Merlin ass nigga in there going over yeah. some shit. Like, he a real live thorough. You don't know that nigga from a can. It's called an interview, nigga. It's called an interview. You interviewing anybody. Hey, man, Would listen. You 
Let's interview that nigga for. Hey, yeah, you know what I got to interview Just for? Just to interview No, 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 no. Hear me out. Follow me. So he not next to cute fool right now, eh? He not, he not next to cute fool? Oh, they took a picture together. You don't know that nigga? He, how do, hey, yeah, hey, let me ask you a question. Oh, let, let's talk about our town right now. What you think city of right now? Because I'm not with that, I'm not on that cute fool shit right now. It ain't me. Only reason this is <laughs> known on the entertainment side of things is because of me. So it ain't me. I ain't putting up on the killer side of things or destroying the city. It ain't me. I'm keeping our name alive on the entertainment side, not the oh, killer no, you side. Oh, no, you know, you know, listen, whole time, I said this right here to you. Real talk, I tell everybody, you got to give this credit, son. You a marketing genius, son. I don't agree with a lot of shit you do or say, but I do. I, I know one thing. The king of verbal gymnastics. You seen that 135? You seen what that turned into? I was at 172. Look, look by your eyebrow. I was at 172. 172. Look, your, look by your eyebrow now. That don't say 172, do it. Hey, yeah, I was at 172. I was at 172, yeah. I'm can I ask you a question, seven. though? Can, can I, oh, damn, I can't even send it to you. Can I ask you a question? What? Guess who I had a 30-minute conversation with today? Who? 1090 J. Oh, for real? Yes, sir. And what I'm here to tell you is, did you see the Q interview when he said, this week, they took me to a room and I sat in there for eight hours. You didn't hear that in the interview? No, no, I did hear that, but you don't hear me out. But listen, All but, I, but listen. Is, when they sat him in that room for eight hours, they questioned them. Uh, hold on, hold on, hear me out. Then this, this is what I'm gonna say. You, you know what you asked me about? Hear me out. You said, they said I'm I'm no, 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 listen, hold on, listen, listen, hold on, listen. As I've been showing the paperwork over the last couple of days, you keep saying you ain't got a paperwork, right? And, and, and as they should, they sat him for eight hours, as they should, they should have questioned them. As they should. But hear me out. Hold on, we, listen. Hold where's on, the on, question in paper? Where's hold the, on, the, hey, hey, where's hey, the, the paper? Said, what, and it's, it's, quiet. everything get wrote down. If he asked for and a lawyer, that got wrote down. Listen, it's going it's to say, it's going to say, he asked for a lawyer. It's going to say that on the paper. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, you go inside of an interview joke, right? Would it, would they, I'd have been, I'd have been in public park. Everything get wrote down. No, listen, listen. I'd have been in a couple of times. I'd have been in there on a couple of times, Slim. Because they done literally came in there and I'd have said, man, I want, I want, I want my lawyer. And they done walk back out and lock me up. Hold on, I don't, hold on, hold on, listen, down. listen. No, no, I'd have been in there when it, when I done said it to him. I want my lawyer, and they just say, "Hey, yeah, you want your lawyer? You must write him a piece of paper. I want a lawyer and sign it." So what I'm telling you is, you ain't wrong about. It. Where the paper? Hold on, listen. Is the paper in that packet? Hey, listen. Is this guy's paper in that packet? Hey, you're not listening. Hold on, listen. hear me out. I done been in the interrogation room before. When they came in, I done said, "Man, I ain't gonna say it. I want a lawyer." And they walk back out and took me up on my birth. I didn't sign anything. I'd have been in there before. Where they came in, I done said, "Man, I ain't gonna say it. I want a lawyer." And they walk back out. It took me up a mob, bro. I didn't sign anything. I'd have been there before, but I'd have said, I want my lawyer. And it came and said, if you want a lawyer, sign it on the paper right here that, you, that you're not talking to it. Even so, if you signed or didn't sign, when they walk in there, they write that shit down. When they start asking you a question, they got a notepad. When they walk in there, they walk in there with a notepad. Even if you say nothing, they still got your name on it. Bro, I swear to God, if you sign that, that would be your discovery that package, though, man. That, that, I, it's not going to be in your discovery package. No, it's not. No. It's going to be in your PSI. You keep, hey, hey. Ain't never been in jail. Then you're like, I'm, I'm just letting you know, bro. It's not gonna be in your charges, but that shit, 1090 Jake gonna find it, bro. That's the difference between you and 1090 Jake. That's the difference between you and. That's the paper Q hiding. You can't. Hey, listen. Hey, yeah. What you said? Okay, hear me out. He was in the interrogation room for eight hours. What was said in there? I don't know. I don't. I, listen. How did I don't know. Say nothing in there. Tell him prove he ain't say nothing in there. He said he asked for a lawyer. He Tell said he asked for a lawyer. He can prove it. It's a sheet of paper that he told he asked for a lawyer. They write it down, bro. I said, hey, listen I, to me. Let me listen. Bro, hey, you ain't listen. Listen to me. You ain't listen, G man. Listen to me. GQ died. The police had, had some niggas that locked up for it. They asked me, is these the killers? I said, I need a lawyer. They wrote it down. I swear to God, that statement is somewhere in a folder. Hey, yeah. Rest in peace, GQ. What you died, though, eh? In the gods. In the gods. Hey, 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 you cannot compare... DC the murder. I did a video earlier, right? Like right now, DC got a 90 day. Hold on, listen. It's DC still got, in interrogation room. Hey, hey, All listen, interrogation hey. rooms got the same rules. Hey, listen. All hey, DC got a hey, yeah, hold interrogation on. room in Virginia, interrogation room in DC, interrogation in Maryland. They all got the same rules. Hey, yeah, and your little friend, that little that, that little puffy head, little old spring baby I'm I'm the, little nigga. And I'm tell him and tell your bisexual ass homeboy, uh uh uh, uh what's the name? Don't divide. Tell him I said, nigga, you ain't. Fight bluff, nigga. Never call me Jenkins.
He locked him in a room for eight hours, Buster. They told him, you have the right to remain silent if you want a lawyer. It's, look, though, it's going to be a sheet of paper say suspect waived his remainder rights or he requested a lawyer. So I left Bust alone. I didn't even care about his sneaky shots, Davey this, Davey that. I left it alone. I'm not even tripping on Buster. The fight over, Buster gone. It's over. I'm not even thinking about Buster no more. Q the Fool come home from jail. Me and Q the Fool get into it because we got. I was waiting on him to get home because prior to him going to jail, he said something about me on Say Cheese. And I had brung it back up. So when I brung it back up, me and Q had got into it. Q did a Say Cheese interview. I did a Say Cheese interview. We had went back and forth. He made a diss song. I made a diss song. He ended up going back to jail. But in the meantime, with all that, OG Dollars had told me Q the Fool was hot in the midst of him in jail. And I was waiting on him to come home. All Q friends know he hot. Q don't be with nobody he used to be with. A thousand rich shooters, all of them left because they know he hot. Hey, ben, hey, you, you gotta understand. I, I bought, I bought that man his first chain. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, I, I did a lot. I did a lot of big homie for a fake big homie. You know what I'm saying? So that hurt a nigga hot for real, for real to know the truth. Nigga really came big homie on these niggas twenty years old. You know what I mean? Niggas can't, niggas can't handle that. Nigga different. I say this right here though, Q. You know what I'm saying? It's a better way to go about that's a the bone to put on a nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, but niggas, niggas, but you gotta understand, nigga never been locked up in their life, so you gotta understand. Eleven years to a, a damn for real a civilian nigga, that's a lot of time. That's like life to a nigga. That that shit, that, that, that hey, Clem Q, lost his mind behind that shit. To the money. You feel what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna. If you out here breaking law, if you out here breaking, law, it's a, a, a lot of be capped though. A lot you gotta understand. A lot of capped right. though. You you can't go off this Instagram. Shit. Nigga can make anything look good. You know what I'm saying? Nigga be making shit look good on Instagram, be broke. Can't you can't go off Instagram? You know what I'm saying? If you know, you I mean, know. What I know is I pulled your whole case up and I read it on the front to the back snap. And I'ma stand on low. Yeah, I'ma stand on low. I know, I know 1099 Jake, but I know here in the DMV area, you know what I'm I know a lot of good men with you. I know a lot of good men that got love for you. But niggas know niggas niggas know what's up with me at the end of the day. These niggas don't run nothing. These niggas is goofy. Niggas who just got a, a, a phone in the app. These niggas don't run. Nigga can't tell me do this, do nothing. I'm going to do everything on my own time. What the fuck I want to do. Because at the end of the day, I know I'm a man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never do no hack. I ain't never do no fag in my life. You know what I'm saying? Never. In my life, I ain't never do no hack. No fag. Nigga can't never play with me, bro. Like, no bullshit. That's, and that's what be throwing me off. Like, nigga, real, like, I gave my life to these niggas playing games. Like, a nigga ain't going to die about this shit. But I I made sure I had my paperwork right here too. I got all my paperwork. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never told on nobody. I hey, wanted to cross sure. reference things because I've never dealt with a case or seen a case in Arundel County. I dealt, I I've been through a lot of PG counties. Like yo, man, matter of fact, I'm about to call this nigga lawyer. Matter of fact, hold on. Hey, matter of fact, uh, hey, inside van, do me a favor. Inside, text aunt phone and send the uh, send Q lawyer number to aunt phone. I'm about to call this lawyer. Yeah, yeah, this lawyer on the phone calling this nigga lawyer. We ain't gonna get it from Q. I'm gonna get it from the lawyer. I'm gonna say, what the f is up with George? <laughs> What's the thing? Please tell me what the f is up with George. I get thousand dollars. Tell me what the f is up with George. I'm gonna call this nigga lawyer. Man, we can't call him inside. Send George lawyer number to Aunt Phone. It's cool. We we already need you though, but George. Hey, hey, Aunt, do me a favor. Yeah. Hey, Aunt, do me a favor. Text inside, man, right? It's a ant lost the murder southeast out, man. If a nigga can diss a nigga he never seen, put a fake barber in the video, bro, I can do that to your mother. I swear to God, I can take one of y'all mothers right now. I can just go outside, pay somebody, be like, play like you, her mother, and put your name in the title, and pay some niggas to go somewhere and shoot a video by your house, anything, bro. That shit is weird. That shit, that Q wasn't even there, bro. He in the basement, bro. He on house arrest. He can't even leave the house. Do that count? He can't even leave. Q don't even know what the guys look like. He never been there. Then it's like.
Now niggas get to shoot. Now, like, 6 9 went. Like, now niggas don't even got to go. Like, I ain't never seen a nigga don't go. I gave him a pass, though. I let the dip. He need to go. Y'all know he wasn't even there? He, was, he wasn't even in attendance. Like, I could do that shit with you. Anybody. Who can stop that? He didn't even go. He didn't even leave the house. He didn't do anything. Some early sh told him. I never in my life seen a nigga not go. Like he wasn't even at the video. He was a, like, he didn't even like, they didn't even go to the right neighborhood. He went they went to the wrong neighborhood. They gave me a fake mother and the nigga ain't go. That's some Merlin sh I swear to God, only Merlin did that. I ain't never seen that before. They was like the first nigga that ever did that, bro. You try to diss on you, you didn't even go. You didn't go to your own video shoot. The f How the f did you do that? You try to diss on you, you wasn't there? <laughs> what? <laughs> a nigga shot to diss on you, you wasn't even there. Like, what the f this ain't even that. This how scared this is though. You shot a diss on. I'm gonna show you three scared things. He shot a diss on, he wasn't there. That's one scared thing. Everybody in the video got on clothes that you can't recognize them and they masked up. They don't want to be seen. That's two scared things. That nigga ain't at the cameraman. We don't know who shot that video. My mother, I never seen the cameraman shoot a video. Don't put this tag in there. A cameraman shot a video and they put this tag. Like the cameraman don't even want to. The cameraman don't even want you to know who shot that shit. So Rocky scared shit going over how to see. I swear to God. <laughs> I showed you who shot by. I said what I said, and it was me. Like, I was there. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like rock skates. Three scary things. Leave me alone, George. I don't believe. I ain't never seen the cameraman not claim his work like that. A blank. It's just a blank video. Like nobody shot it. Though he only want to claim that. Like damn. <laughs> That's how I know they respect me. Cause if I don't respect the nigga, I'm not hide no cameraman. They they respect me. They hear the cameraman name. They hear their faces. They did exactly what they posted did. You diss the dead, you hide your face. You don't go. It's cool. I'm good with that. I live with that. Some early shit. Really some early shit. Something little something a typical Lago nigga with it. Nigga from Lago. And all the Merlin people like, oh he dragging though, you so so that man they left the house. Put in this rap song, you should say, I shot a diss and I wasn't even there. And say, most night, yeah, this is another thing about my chain. Just think about it. How my chain fake, but his chain real? Like, how? You gonna be with me? How my chain fake, and his chain real? I can tell you true facts. He got locked up for a stolen Jeep. I own one. You feel me? I told you niggas buy us. Niggas make up a lot. My chain fake, but his chain real. How? He was in the stolen Jeep. I own one of them. I bought one of them in cash. Like, let's talk facts. Y'all talking. There's some early y'all on some delusion. Like, the His chain real, my chain fake. What's the difference between his chain and my chain? There's no difference. I just want to know. What's the difference in his chain and my chain? There's no difference. My chain fake and his chain real. Okay, Q. Next lie. Your Jeep stolen, mine's paid for cash. Now what? You going bankrupt, I ain't. You live in your mother junk, I don't. You got $80,000. i am going to spend 80000 on camera in front of your stupid. Because you better take that money. Bro, you file bankrupt. You can't even get a bank account. But $80,000, bro, get the on, you Clown, what you do with that? Fucking goofy. You had three hundred thousand. You down to your last eighty bands. Rock Nation gave you three hundred. You couldn't show three hundred honey buns right now. You don't have three hundred nothing. You're going broke. You flexing on broke. This ain't two thousand thirteen. Q. I got that shit times times. Bro, you fucking idiot. Are you dumb or stupid? No ass bit of money. You kid. You talking about nigga? I got three watches. I ain't signed a Rock Nation nigga. Signed a barber. Nigga, I ain't never been no nigga slave, nigga. What's wrong with you, nigga? I ain't got no 15 mixtapes, nigga. I don't gotta drop no music. Let's do something. Let's show you a real nigga. If both of us stop dropping music right now, you have to disappear, George, nigga. You it ain't shooting, nigga. It's the microphone and a. 
He got all new. He don't even got no friends. I ain't gonna say new friends. He hanging with people he don't even know. He trying to build a new relationship, but let's get off cue. So Buster just come back out of nowhere because there's nobody talking about him. He don't got no buzz. I told you I'm talking about Q. This is the popping thing. He like, if I can hop back in this live and get this adrenaline rush again, I'm going to be back the way I needed to be. He jumped straight in and told my man, law is law. I got Q the food paperwork right now. Q the food ain't hot, this and that. Nobody never said nothing about Buster. This had nothing to do with Buster. Q the food don't know Buster. I don't even know what Buster doing right now. But now that I think about it, I was saying, for somebody taking up for somebody that's not hot and not showing their paperwork and you fake go get some paperwork from them, you got to be hot or something. It's something weird with you. So now me and Buster get into it. We going back and forth. We had months of back and forth. Now we going back and forth for like weeks, months. We just going back and forth. I'm just bidding off him. He trying to bid back, but it don't make sense. He making up allegations of me being hot. He making, he just trying to fight back, but there's no fight in him. He have no fight at all. He acting like he know me. He don't know me. I only know Buster for every time I see Buster, he giving me some money. I only know him for business. I don't know him for nothing else. If he didn't have 20K, I wouldn't even know him. He think I know him or kick it with him, bro. The money is the reason I know you. I know you for going in your pockets. So Buster hopping that Q the Fool be woo woo. Me and Q the Fool end up getting into a Q, end up going back to jail. So now Buster just home, still talking about the Q the Fool stuff we getting into it. So now I'm like, Buster, you calling Q, you saying Q the Fool not hot. You just jumping in something. I never had no problems with you. But since you want to do that, now let's get into your life. And that's how I got into letting y'all know about Buster, letting y'all know everything about him. Buster Ola got a PPP loan. He owed him. He in trial for breaking one of his ex-girlfriend's nose and martinis because she walked in the club with it with her boyfriend her other nigga and he got toya pregnant davy old girl to get davy back because him and davy had gotten into it over some money about the fight too buster got just won his buzz he won a buzz so he trying to get some numbers from somewhere i ain't bite so he's trying to get davy to bite he even he was so depressed from life he just went and tried to get fake book toya put, start a podcast just to get close to her and touch a mustache. And this is life after bankruptcy. No more Buster move, y'all. His name is Renee. Kenneth Renee Mooney. His mother named him Renee. For the girl he act like. If y'all don't know who this is, it's nobody. His name is Renee. I'm going to tell y'all I'm changing his name. I have enough power to change his name. So I'm going to let the whole city know before I do it. If I see anybody in these comments say Buster name, I'm going to block you. If I see anybody, if I see the name Buster and anything that I can block, you will be blocked. My comments or anything. His name is Renee. You can say Renee all day. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, y'all. I'm trying to get the 100K subscribers. Let's turn this up. But this, I was trying to realize, why is this grown man at 50 years old want to become a YouTuber playing for clout and he all in my business? I get it. Let's get into the story. So Buster Moo cannot go live in this house because his wife is beefing with him and his wife mother is beefing with him because Buster Moo then messed up the family business. The father left from the club, Buster lost the club, Buster pulled scams. Buster's a scammer, y'all. Buster's not trying to become a YouTuber because he wanna be Aunt Glizzy. I get it, Buster's trying to come a YouTuber because he's saying Aunt Glizzy make money off of it and he need to make money, he needs thousands of dollars ASAP. He spent his last $20,000 on Aunt Glizzy. He tried to turn it into $100,000 to pay off his debt. He's in debt. His life is in shandles. He got Toya pregnant. His wife don't let him go live in the house. Cause he, imagine a 50-year-old with his son and his family in the house and just yelling at his phone like a real father in a home yelling at, a, yelling at the phone on IG Live, arguing with IG comments, sweating. I've been in this office in Martinez. His safe does not even got a lock on it. There's no money in it. He beat up his cameraman because his cameraman asked for $200. I'm like, why would he beat up his cameraman? It makes sense. I know what he's going through now. He filed a $20,000 PPP loan. He can't pay that back. Now he's in court fighting for martinis. You cannot beat the government, bro. The club is gone. And when, the when the government sell the club and put it up for auction, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to own martinis in a couple months. Buster Moo just throwing TCB night in there just to make another dollars to pay his lawyer just to prolong the club for a little while longer. You might as well just go and give it up, bro. You're going to lose it. You can't be the government. You don't have enough money. I'm going to explain it to you, bro. 
You're going to war with the government over sixty thousand dollars in unpaid bills. You're going to spend sixty thousand dollars on a lawyer to, or more to fight the government about these unpaid bills. You should have just paid the sixty thousand dollars that you owe the government and got it out the way. The twenty on the PPP loan plus the interest or whatever the back taxes is on that with the forty thousand plus the interest and back tax. You should have just paid it off instead of paying the lawyer and just kept the club. You don't have enough money. You don't have money. You're broke. I realize. So you clout chase off and glizzy. You run around here saying my name, doing all this. Y'all, Buster is delusional. I never in my life got into it with Buster. We never was beefing. We never got into it. Just think about it. I got into it with Q the Fool. Buster popped up with the paperwork because the fight promo and the fight publicity was gone. It's gone from the fight. Buster ain't in that. Oh, I paid $20,000. I'm going to be famous. I ain't buy these 300,000 followers and this blue check for nothing. Buster moves so broke. He can't even keep a blue check. He had to get his blue check in somebody else's name because he can't put nothing in his name. Once you file bankrupt and you owe the government, you cannot have no funds sitting nowhere. They seize all assets and money. Buster Moo don't have a cash op card right now. He's on his head. He's taking cash at the door. Buster Moo just threw up a post. They got $1 drinks. He doing anything. He giving the club up. He giving up. They got $1 drinks at Martini's. $1 Martini's. He giving the liquor away. He's like, the club about to go out of business anyway. He's just trying to get rid of all the old liquor. So I'm just here to tell y'all, he got to go live life with Toya and bankruptcy, bro, with his new little baby, his new little turtle dove they about to have. Chicken bird and uh, musclehead had a baby. Musclehead bird. They about to have a baby bird, a little bird cooter. He should have been a bird man. His wife going to give up on him and all that. Because she already told me he can't go live in the house. Buster Moo never went live in this house, y'all. Y'all never seen Buster Moo go live in this house. Why? Because Buster Moo that ain't his house. That's his wife's house. He don't pay the bills. And he going to look like a little kid, 50 years old, trying to play on live. So I'm here to tell you, his name is not Buster no more. His name is Renee. Anybody call him Buster, I'm blocking you. Renee. Renee going in the caption, too. His new name is Renee. His mother named him out the female because he a buff faggot. You're out here beating your friends up because you stressed out because you broke. You paid for a clout. Every time I seen you, you was going to your pocket. Buster, we not friends. You only know me because you paid me $20,000. You only see me at Martini's because you paid me $20,000. You only see me at the fight because you paid me $20,000. You only know me and see me because of money. I was in your pockets. Money business. I'm the real business man around here. You going out of business man around here. Bother, sir.
Pay them people. Business is business. I understand why niggas 40 some years old angry. They broke. That ain't it though, y'all. Just remember this. I won't lie to y'all. If anybody called Buster Move, Buster Move in my comments, I'm going to block you. His name is Renee. Read his name. Kenneth Renee Mooney. We call him Renee. I'm changing his name to Renee. His name is Renee, y'all. Anybody say Buster move in these comments, I'm blocking you. If I see the word Buster, you can say Renee. If you say Renee, you can stay. You say Buster, Buster me, automatically block. So if I see a comment and you forget, so y'all tell everybody. Y'all got to the road. Don't say Buster. Call him Renee or ain't going to block you. I swear, if I see Buster in my YouTube I see bust on my Instagram. I see bust the name anyway. Except for Renee, I'm gonna block you. You're gonna lose your chance of watching me by you saying Buster. His name is Renee. But just keep your eyes on that forty thousand. That forty thousand is some change. Keep your eyes on the forty thousand. He owed them bank people forty thousand, and he owed them twenty thousand on the PPP loan for twenty twenty one. Buster sixty thousand in the hole, y'all. Y'all know Bust the Move. He Bust the Move. That's his name. Bust the Move. He be busting moves. He a scammer. Renee. This is Renee, y'all. Renee is broke. Renee is down bad. This is what's happening. They taking the club from Buster. Buster still got the club by in the court. I right, in law. Say if you go broke and you can't pay your bills. Just say if you got rent, you can't pay your rent. They still can't put you out. You gotta go to court to get put out. Same with the business. You gotta go through court processes. They gotta pitch you out the legal way. Like I don't give a fuck if you behind in bills six months. You old bills or nothing. They gotta go court processes to document this to pitch you out. But they gonna get you out. Buster Move is having TCB. Buster Move don't book nobody at that club but TCB. TCB makes him money, probably $1,000, $1,500 every time TCB perform profit. He's paying a lawyer to go to court to see about taking the club. He don't have no fees to fight this. Buster don't have enough money to fight this. They took Buster bank accounts. Buster can't fund a lawyer. Buster can't fund anything. He's going to file bankrupt about this. He just paying TCB to play, and TCB just paying them money to keep the lawyer fees going until they document this shit and kick them out. When they sell the club, I'm going to buy that motherfucker. I'm going to own my teenies. I'm going to turn that into my YouTube studio. That's why he out here beating his friends up over 200. That's why he couch chasing for views. That's why he seen Aunt Glizzy, he seen Aunt Glizzy make money off YouTube. He trying to make money off YouTube. I got to block that page, y'all. They said Buster. His name Renee. My bad. I don't need be one block you. You just got to say Renee. Say glad you got your ones before they did, man. Yeah, imagine this though. Buster paid me. He didn't pay the IRS. He didn't pay Martinez. This will happen. Buster got forty thousand dollars. Buster got down to his last ten thousand dollars. He had to go borrow ten thousand dollars for his family and some more other money to get this Dave Ruffin fight. But he like invested me up during this Aunt Lizzie Dave Ruffin fight. I'm gonna give y'all y'all money back after the fight. Buster move. Oh, his cameraman. 
Bust a move, oh, the Martini's girls. Bust a move, oh, everybody. He ain't paid none of them. Why you think he beat his cameraman up? His cameraman just asked for his money. Why you beating that nigga up over two hundred dollars? Cause you in court for going bankrupt. You stressed out. He broke. Like I ain't trying to hear that. Bust a move, wife. Is mad at him right now. His wife and his wife mother. They not fucking with Buster. Buster move don't pay. Buster move the house not in Buster name. That's his wife house. Buster can't go live in that house. Buster can't go live in the house. Buster go live in his car and martinis and outside. Y'all never seen Buster live in his house, right? That ain't his house. Imagine a fifty year old arguing with the comments in the house while his kids running around and his wife in here. She won't allow that shit. Buster don't pay no bills in there. Here's a broke ass. She trying to divorce him. And he got Toya pregnant on some sneaky shit. Renee down bad. I appreciate it. I seen that long comment. I just seen you say proud of me. I appreciate that. I need a little bit of motivation over here, Nick. I appreciate it. Renee want to be famous. Today is her day to be famous. Renee. And then he end up have now she pregnant. She running off the internet talking about she's suing me because I'm telling people she pregnant. I guess I know you pregnant because you told us. But his wife working giant. I found out he was he didn't even have twenty thousand. He owed a PPP loan. He filed bankruptcy. His wife working giant. He got the club from his wife's father. Like his whole life just started coming out. He testified in three different cases. The police used them one day for one case. These are separate cases. But this is the one we're here for. This is his fall. Two months ago, I had got a DM. Somebody said, yeah, Busta Moves starting a podcast. I've been trying to catch up to you. I don't got no phone. I got my paperwork right here. I don't got no phone. I don't got no phone. I got my paperwork right here. I'm in jail. Bust the move. Got me 20 years. I ain't seen my family. He identified the car that got me locked up. I'm going to send it to you. Give me some time. Two months went away. Me and Buster getting into it for that two months. I left Buster alone. I ain't even getting into it with Buster. Two months went away. I mean, went past. He come back to the DM today. He said, yeah, bro. Here go my paperwork right here. Sent me a picture of it from jail. He out the feds. Right now he in the feds. Now let's get into the story. Allegedly one day down U Street, a guy was in a car and a shooting happened. Kenneth Mooney bust a move, seen the shooting. He was witness to the shooting. A couple other people, like they, the shooting happened, the car went away. But on camera, they can see a person. They got a person of interest. To make this person of interest guilty, they just need somebody to put this white car that had to shoot into this person. Like, could you put this white person to this car? Like, could you tell us you seen a white car? If you say you seen this white car, this person go to jail. So y'all just remember white car. So they first, the shooting happened. The police witness grabbed, grabbed some witnesses from around the area when it happened. Nobody knew what happened. They end up locking up a suspect because they had him, but they didn't have strong enough evidence on him. They just needed a witness or a statement to put him in this white car, or put this white car on the shooting to seal the indictment. So it took him years to go to trial, just say a year or two to go to trial. So in that two, one or two years going to trial, the police went back and doubled down. They first witnesses from the scene, they just went and asked them re-questions again. Buster Move was in bankrupt court. Buster Move in bankrupt court. He got so much other stuff going on in his life. Buster Move came home from prison. Buster Move was in jail. This happened in 2013. So for Buster Move to work out something with the Buster Moo caught his own, whatever type of charge he caught, whatever case he caught on his own time. This got nothing to do with the shooting. This is why he told on the shooting, because they had that on him. So in the midst of the guy for the shooting going to trial, he can't get indicted because they ain't put him with the white car. They, the police go back and remember the witnesses that they grabbed the day of the shooting. And they ask all the witnesses to come to 555 and put their testimony. Do they got their testimony? Buster Moo was ready to speak now. 
because Buster Moo had something happen in his life in between them times of him going to trial. Buster Moo was ready to speak because Buster Moo was trying to get help on his case. Buster Moo went in the grand jury and they asked Buster Moo, Kenneth Mooney, he went there at 358. It say that on the paper. They asked Buster Moo, what time? Not what time. They asked Buster Moo, did you see a car? Buster Moo said, yeah, a white car. That ain't it. I don't even want to tell y'all what he said. I'm going to show y'all what he said. I'm going to show y'all everything. The guy sent me the paperwork. He sent me his court case. He's still serving time right now. He said Buster Moo knew what he was doing. Buster Moo was not supposed to go in there and tell and get him locked up. Buster Moo, you are a government informant. This is your paperwork. This is your testimony to the grand jury. I'm 1000% sure you hot. Had me go down there and say that I didn't see nothing. Who shot you? I don't know. So all that you have been in something before, y'all ain't never been in nothing. You dudes running around this mother keep talking about legal firearm like this and this and this and that. I ain't going with that. Like I said, at the end of the day, I'm gonna say this right here. I never got Slim locked up. You know what I'm saying? I never got Slim locked up. I never ever implicated Slim in anything. And, and, and when I went there, on the stand, I said, I don't know who shot me. I don't know where it came from. And that's what it is. So all that cut and paste y'all doing, have at it, Slim. But I'm going to say this right here. No, 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 no. See, but you for the realize being who I am, being a, a figure here in the DMV, it ain't about, I'm, I'm going to keep it a bean because Shorty like to play these internet games. But what I'm telling y'all is, I've never implicated no one. You're not going to go 10 years later and try to say that this and this and that. Y'all tripping. We ain't going like that. So all y'all that did be Slim and y'all super duper fans, be a fan. But y'all niggas tripping. Y'all ain't gonna never ever sort my curves on no level, Slim. On no level. Y'all ain't gonna never sort my curves on no level. And y'all ain't gonna never say that I told a nigga that I never told on that I got a nigga locked up who turned himself in. Come on, man. You niggas is tripping. You niggas tripping. You niggas wildin', man. Y'all keep riding this goofy little dude that all he do is sit there and lie to y'all and throw these false narratives out there. I ain't trying to hear that, man. I ain't trying to hear that, shorty, man. Like, listen, man. Y'all dudes crazy, Slim. Y'all dudes fraudulent. Y'all crazy. And y'all sitting y'all let Slim do all this goofy stuff. Y'all let Slim do all this goofy stuff, man. I ain't about to keep entertaining it, but I say this right here. I have never told on a nigga a day in my life do, have you dudes that's been through what I've been through would have been folded. I ain't never fold. You know what I'm saying? Never implicated Slim. Never said Slim so shot me. None of that. Slim was scared for his mother situation. He turned himself in and went to trial with a public defender. Other than that, I ain't got too much more to say about it, Slim. The nigga ain't, we are, I, I know ants are point blank and simple. Ants are nigga. Man, you tripping ain't a nigga out here. Ain't a nigga out here can ever, ever say I told on anyone. Never. That y'all talking about, like, stop playing. Y'all niggas is corny. That shit is corny, Slim. It's real live corny. It's real live corny. Point blank and simple. It's corny, man. It's real live corny, Slim. Hey, man, listen. Listen, Slim. I say this right here to y'all. All you Aunt Glizzy riders is on here. Have at it. Be a rider. I don't. I ain't mad at you, but you won't. You will not. You will not insult my courage. You will not give me the overreact. You have some I know I ain't do. It was three victims, and at the end of the day, this one right here never once told. Never once told. Never. Never once told. Point blank and simple. Never once told. At all. You niggas is clowns, man. Nah, it ain't that we back with this again. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't my. I ain't entertaining it, but you're not gonna sort my courage either. You're not 
you, you said, say I gave a statement. Gave what statement? What statement did it say I gave? Like, y'all, like, come on, man. I just seen, I seen the screen recording y'all man did. He showed the first paperwork of my name, which is, that is my name. I, I, I was at the court building. Then he started showing turning to the side with high lady. Nah, Holmes. It was three victims in this case. You not going to do that. You not going to paste and try to put together. I can't speak for no other man. Like, Slip, I ain't never told on nobody damn my life. Man, you was a d rider right here. Let me get you out of here. Cause you was clearly a d rider. Let me get you out of here, you d rider. You clearly a d rider. Clean, bang, and simple. You was a d rider. You was a d rider. It was a hundred witnesses. Like the nigga crashed out. Man, I'm out of here, man. I'm out of here, Slim. Man, y'all stay solid. Y'all keep letting this goofy nigga lie to y'all. That's on y'all. After this video, the world gonna be 1,000% sure you hot. I promise you, I want no trouble with you. It's no more beef. It's no more nothing. I'm done with you. I think y'all all should unsubscribe. I think y'all should do no nothing with Buster. Just stay away from him. Free the real. Bobberson.